All right, so last night I watched Nikki Tutorials and James Charles' video over the Alphabet Makeup Challenge, and I really wanted to do it last night, but it was like 10 o'clock at night and I was super tired. So I'm in my pajamas, my Eeyore. Yes, I love this onesie. And I decided that I wanna try this out. Now I am gonna do it more like Nikki Tutorials just to let you guys know. So I'm gonna do pretty much everything alphabet related. So like eyebrows, eyeshadow, eyeliner, whatever. So if you're interested in seeing me do this, then please keep on watching. So I have my little notes over here of everything like in alphabetical order so I don't mess this up. The first thing is blush. And I have all of my little, I can pick them up all of my little match sticks that came in that set right back there and I think I want to take hibiscus as my blush which is this one right there and I think I'm just gonna go right in <laughs> oh man oh man I don't know I felt like when I watched Nikki tutorials and James Charles do this, it didn't turn out that bad. So I was like, eh, I can always wash it off. Like early in the morning, I'm just gonna put blush on first cause why not? <laughs> so I'm gonna go a little bit crazy with it like they did because after watching both of their videos, nothing really ended up showing up at the end. So I'm just gonna, be very mindful of that. Oh, this side is a lot more pink than the other side. I also don't have my contacts in, so I'm kind of blind at the moment. I also love that Nikki used Fenty Match Sticks on her face. I was like, yes. I, I'm also, I pulled out so many things and most of this video is going to be with Fenty Beauty, aside from like mascara, eyebrows, stuff that Fenty Beauty does not have yet. So, <laughs> all right, next thing is bronzer. And I'm gonna take Beach Bum for my bronzer. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just gonna go pretty crazy with this. This is a lot more red than I remember. I don't know. I thought I remembered using Beach Bum as a bronzer before, but no, I could be wrong. And I know James Charles did baking first, but I honestly don't bake in my everyday routine. So I'm just doing this how, like I use the routine that I normally have, which is kind of why I went with Nikki Tutorial's video because I felt like her video was a little bit more in my routine rather than James Charles. Okay, now that I have this all over my face, I look like a, I just ran a marathon for three years. Oh my gosh. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> okay, blush, bronzer, and concealer. Okay, I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 150. And I'm just gonna conceal more than I am used to. So I'm gonna do my under eyes. I'm using a lot more. I'm just gonna blend it out with a booty blender. <laughs> this looks so weird, but I'm actually really happy that I'm doing this. I don't know, I'm so curious about how all this is gonna turn out. What do you guys think? So far, I don't think it's the worst of the worst. I think maybe it could pull together but who knows? <laughs> Maybe they're just a lot better at doing their own makeup than I am, but I'm really curious. I wanna see what or like my whole makeup look would look like if I did it like this. Ooh, I used a lot more on that side. Now, after concealer is contour, so I'm gonna take my matchstick in amber. Mm, this looks really weird. Normally when I wear matchsticks like by themselves or without a lot of foundation, I still wear some sort of primer. And these are going super weird on my face. Like they're getting really patchy and they don't really normally get that patchy on me. And I don't really know why. I don't know, but do you see this like huge patch right there? Hmm. 
Okay. All right. So after contour, we're moving on to the eyebrows. So I'm going to do the same thing the Nikki Tutorials did. So she had to start off with eyebrow gel and then she did pencil. And then I normally use a powder. So a powder is last. So this is my normal brow routine. So I'm first going to go in with my Milk Makeup Eyebrow Gel. I'm still experimenting with the Anastasia one. <laughs> so eyebrow gel is on. Now I'm gonna take my eyebrow pencil. It's the Dior Show Brow Styler. And I guess I'm just gonna fill in any parts where I normally would. I don't know, I kind of feel like this makes things a little bit easier because it already filled in a lot of my eyebrow hair. So it's easier to see where the gaps are. And I feel like you have a little bit more playtime with the milk makeup eyebrow gel than the Anastasia one. Like your eyebrows still move around. It's not like the most stronghold eyebrow gel, the one by Milk Makeup, but the Anastasia one, that one has some hold to it. Now I'm gonna take my eyebrow powder. It's a Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder. And I'm just gonna take my angled brush. <laughs> so normally what I do is I go in with my eyebrow pencil and then my powder and then the gel. But I'm not completely opposed to this. Okay, nothing too bad yet. So now after all of that, we're doing eyelashes. I don't remember what the style of these are, but I'll have everything linked down below. I'm gonna put my <laughs> my eyelashes on now. Oh goodness. So these are my eyelashes and they're my kind of go-tos right now. They're by Crave Lashes. I really enjoy how fluffy they are, but I don't normally put eyelashes on and then put my mascara on or put my eyelashes on first before any eye makeup so we'll see how this goes i feel like they're gonna fall off because i have problems with my eyelashes staying in the first place okay why are my eyes so sensitive right now i keep blinking all right one eyelash down this looks so weird oh goodness i tried to get it super super close to my lash line because it just it looks so weird if i don't i also don't like that i can see my real lashes with the fake eyelashes <laughs> oh my goodness this is so much fun though i really like this i wish there was another like fun little challenge like this are you guys having fun are you liking how this is going are you guys gonna try out this challenge this just feels weird on my naked eye. Okay, I think I got that one on. And I'm gonna wait a couple minutes to make sure that the eyelash glue has completely dried before I go in with the eyeliner. Okay, I think the lash glue is pretty dry. So I'm gonna take the LA Splash Ar Architect Slim Eyeliner in the waterproof. And I don't know how this is going to go. Oh my god, I can't see. Okay. This is really hard to see. Okay. <laughs> Where did the lid go? So, eyelashes, eyeliner is on. Now I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna... It's so hard to see your eyelid with eyelashes on it. Oh, but I do see where I messed up right there. All right, next thing is eyeshadow. So I have my Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette. And I'm actually gonna do my eyeshadow placement in alphabetical order. So I'm first gonna do my brow bone. And <laughs> I'm gonna take the lightest color in the Moroccan Spice palette on my brow bone. All right, that wasn't so hard. The Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer makes it a lot easier. So after my brow bone is my crease. So I'm gonna take, I think it's Spice Trip, but it's just this one. And I'm gonna take this into my crease. Um, it's so hard 
hard to see. Try not to like block the camera from seeing, but like these eyelashes. Putting your eyelashes on first, like, oh my gosh. Like you don't want to tug at your eye too much because you feel like you're gonna loosen up the eyelashes. All right, so after my crease, I'm gonna do my inner corner and I'm gonna take uh, that one right next to the color that we did for our brow bone right there. I put this in my inner corner. And then after the inner corner is the lid. Oh man, I think I'm gonna take this brown color right here for my lid. I don't use this one enough. Oh man. Oh, I can feel the eyelashes moving around. This is so weird. But I will say, if there is any fallout, it's not on my face, it's on my eyelashes. <laughs> and then after my lid is my lower lash line so i'm gonna take that same color that we put in our crease that i put in my crease and i'm gonna put it under my eyes right here Woohoo! all right next up is outer corner i'm gonna take the chocolate brown shade right there and i'm gonna put this one in my outer corner uh, which i can't see okay not bad. So after the eyeshadow is foundation. Hmm. So I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation. I'm going to take about a pump and a half. And I'm going to take it with a beauty blender. <laughs> Goodbye, orange face. This is so weird because you can't really see like where you need a foundation and where you don't need foundation. Alright, let's get rid of this forehead situation without messing up our eyebrows. Oh man, this is really hard. How do people do their eyebrows first? I don't, I don't understand. Okay, it's still not too shabby. So after Foundation is highlighter. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb in how many carats? And I'm gonna be highlighting with this. Get that wet glow. I honestly don't think this is that bad, but again, I haven't put primer on top of everything, so. Oh man, I didn't blend my foundation over here. So now we have lips. So I do do everything that Nikki Tutorials does. So I'm going to be taking my Fenty Beauty Glossy Balm in Fussy, doing my gloss first, then lip liner, and then lipstick. Mm -mm -mm, this gloss is so delicious. And then Fenty Beauty does not have a lip liner, so I'm just going to take the ColourPop Exoella Lip B Pencil in Little One. Oh yeah, this does feel super weird. Mmm. It's really slippery and hard to like control it. I also see I'm getting some major smile lines right now. <laughs> well, that was the worst lip lining job I've ever done in my life. So now we're gonna do lipstick. So I'm gonna take the Fendi Beauty Mademoiselle lipstick in the shade Thick. And I'm gonna clean this off because I love this shade. Okay. Uh, oh, this is weird. That looks so terrible. All right. Now we're at the step of mascara. So I'm gonna take the Milk Kush mascara. And I'm a little bit afraid of this because I feel like I've worked around my eyes so much that the mascara mascara is gonna like rip the eyelashes off and be super gentle okay that wasn't the worst but i can still see like my eyelid in between my lashes and the false eyelashes and that bugs the crap out of me now we are on to powder i'm gonna take the fenty beauty pro filter powder in butter and i'm gonna take First, well, I'm just gonna take the fluffy brush and I'm just gonna get a teensy bit and just roll it into my face. After the powder, there's primer. So say goodbye to what I have created here. 
And I'm going to take the Opalescence, the Beauty Blender Opalescence Serum Primer. And I'm going to go about this kind of like Nikki Tutorials did, where she kind of rubbed it in between her hands and then kind of patted it into her face. But honestly, look how pretty. Oh my gosh, this primer is so gorgeous. All right, we're going to get it in our hands and just... Oh, this feels really weird. Oh, this feels so odd. It feels really sticky, first off, but I don't really think that it destroyed that much of my makeup. Oh, wait, I lied. I can see little finger marks over there. I guess we'll just sharpen. Ooh, okay. <laughs> This feels so gross on my face now. It feels like what Nikki Tutorials was saying. Like at first I didn't really understand what she was saying, but like that feeling when you like worked out with makeup on or like you've had your makeup on all day and it just feels gross. That's what it feels like. Last step, setting spray. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Dewy Set Setting Spray. Oh, goodbye. Maybe that'll get rid of anything. All right, time to zoom you guys in to this mess. Lips, I hate my lips. They feel super weird. They lost their line already. And I feel like they're just gonna bleed. Let's see my face from where I was patting in the Primer kind of took away the foundation. Highlighter looks pretty well. Eyebrows are not terrible. Eyeshadow is not the worst. I just have a ton of problems seeing what exactly is going on there. And then you can still see like my eyelid in between the eyelashes and I hate that. Oh, I look really, really cakey right here. That is gross. Oh, and it looks cakey over here too. Ew. Oh, my nose looks really cakey. Some smile lines are coming in. But like Nikki Tutorials was saying, from afar, it doesn't look that bad. Which is why you don't believe a YouTube video unless they zoom in. Because from afar, you might be like, oh, that's really pretty makeup. But when you look at it up close, you're like, mmm, mmm, no, no, thank you. But this was so much fun to try this out. I kind of feel like this helped me get out of a little bit more of my makeup rut, kind of doing things out of order. I did like using most of the Fenty Beauty products. I thought that was a lot of fun. Got me back into really appreciating Fenty Beauty. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.